Hey everybody, this is my first update on the Finish It in February group build. I've had this kit for a very long time and had it pretty much halfway done. And I think what ended up happening was I got to a certain point where my skill actually was further along than where I was at on this build but not good enough where I could fix it. Uh, I had a, quite a few big mistakes on it that I didn't like and I was finally to a point where on my recent builds I wasn't as bad as what this one was. But since I had the decals down I didn't know how to fix it. So now I was able to actually fix it. I actually got this all cleared now. But what I end up doing was I end up uh, fixing this line here. If you noticed, I don't know if you noticed from the last video, but it was just a little bit and it was real rough. But I did some looking around and did some research and it's also a high rise part in that mold is it's got a curve to it here and it comes down. So that ended up looking a lot better. And when I was at the actual point of that, I had the decals on before. And that's one of the reasons why I stopped because if you put tape on top of decals, you pull them right off. So I didn't want to ruin that. So I ended up just putting it in a box and keeping it there. So this time I actually got it fixed. I did paint all these little stands. As you will see those. Here's the back. I got the actual step painted the right color. Fixed all the rough edges on this. Filled those and got them so there ain't such a bad seam. There's a little bit of a seam here, but it's not bad. Not what it was before. It was just you almost could get a diamond between them. So I got that fixed. Right now it's all under clear, so it's all protected. I had to get the grill done. I end up stripping all these parts with chrome and just painting them with metallic so that way everything matches. But I did a wash, did the lights, did white in these and then kind of rub some, some of it off the surface so that way it's just got a hint of white. Enough to give it a kind of a lens look. There's that. The interior kind of left alone. I didn't do too much of it. There was a wash. I added some black in there. Um, I got the dash done. I painted the dash to the steering wheel. I have to put the piece that goes here and then there's a piece that goes here. Uh, you really don't see too much of this when it's in the build. So I ain't too worried about doing any more to that. The one thing that I didn't really have started at all was this before. But I do have it done. I added some extra wires. I wired uh, some thread wires also. Some black power, power ground wires. Random to r random things. And mosh podged them down. Put all the decals on. Did the clear for the lights. Looked at a lot of pictures so that way I could get the lights right. And a bunch of decals on this. Did a wash on it. Got all the light, all them lights. These ones I tried to get as close to the pattern as there was in the movie. I only got color on one side because the other half is the actual housing of the bulb, and then you only have a little lens. So there's that. It does look pretty good when it's on. For the other one, I mean, I'm doing both of them at the same time. I started working on this. Now this kit was a is a snap kit, so it's going to have less detail. I got that. I have to get the pieces for that. And do a wash on it. Do some dry brushing. Already got some dry brushing on the frame. Add that. 
These are the lights for the Ghostbuster 1. They had some bad mess ups on it from one either painted one or the other at blood so I fixed those I got both of those here's the hoses for the Ghostbusters 1 Echo different color blue but whatever it's a blue I had and these are for the Ghostbusters 2 and then this is one of the hoses that goes from the uh, back I got painted black this is normally all it's like a braided metal or whatever I'm gonna do black it'll look better add some contrast that'll be and then here's one of the lights for Ghostbusters 2 I'm gonna have to re-glue that together Did a little bit of dry brushing on the side panels. The ones that say they're scroll boards. I said we're back on this one. The other one says Ghostbusters. They had it so you can change them. So you can put the other one on the other side. And then you can slide them in and out. So that way if you wanted to do different ones, you could. Got those done. Here's the ladder. Got that one done. So on on the bottoms. I left this one the same. This one is one probably one of the first ones I dry brushed. It is a little wild. It is a little heavy in spots. But I am gonna keep that one like that. This is for the Ghostbusters 2. The wheels look like crap on this one. Um, they were all chrome, but they were awful chrome, so I stripped them to make them match. Uh, the outer rim is supposed to be white with a moon eye. I don't know if I'm going to go through that much trouble. Then, this is for Ghostbusters 1 Echo. Wheels are a lot better in this one. I just did a initial weathering on it. I have not done any rusting or anything. This is the base for the uh, Echo 1 from Ghostbusters 1. I still got to do a lot of weathering on that. So, I got to put some rust on it and that. Because remember in the movies that it was, it was a pretty rusty car. And now, so I have to do the interior. There's a little bit of difference in the interior from this one to the, uh, the full kit. Not a whole lot. As you can see, that don't have the computer stand is gone and some of these controls are a little less the interior or the front bench seat and the seats and the floor are the same I have to do that one and then I did just paint the red on this one I stripped it all the way down because it was that dingy yellow given a new coat of white and did the red today I have to do the silver eventually uh, there's a little imperfection right there in the middle. I'll have to redo. And this side's all right. Made it a lot easier on that other one having the, the little line. That one didn't have it so much. So I should be getting these ones done pretty soon. I will be finishing up the Impala soon. I'll give you guys the reveal of both of those once they're done. I still have to finish the clone of toy. I'm not super happy with it, but um, I think I'm just going to get it to a point and just say it's done. And then uh, have that one finished. But for all the updates, hope you guys are having a great one. I'll talk to you later. See ya.